Hi, my name is Flossie and this is my tiny house on wheels, Sire and the Step Van. This week we're going for a freediving adventure, catch and cook, housing is expensive, rents are astronomical, and these days young folk are looking for cheaper and alternative ways to live. And the same applies to those who are retiring grey nomads. You know, you could take me on a date first. Yeah. And what are we gonna do today? We are gonna go fishing for urchins. We're gonna go catch some urchins. I'm super stoked. Live off the land. <sighs> Last night I had <laughs> the sailors <laughs> over for dinner. And that was really lovely. Hello! I am yet again coming to you from the road <laughs> which sometimes I regret because then I have to audio edit the sound for this but I am heading for a little boat ride and meeting up with a Patreon which is super exciting um, little things in life are really keeping me going keeping my spirits up and bringing the joy into my life right now. I think it's important to, like I said in my one of my previous videos, focus on the things that bring joy and that I'm grateful for because it releases a certain type of dopamine and happiness and like gives one this the ability and resilience to keep going, which I really need right now. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. so. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, look at it. It's got that vintage nose. I just had the sweetest catch up with one of my Patreons who has this RV. We had such a lovely, lovely time. Chilling out, having a little cup of tea. Uh, she's an amazing ukulele player, which is very special because I don't quite have that kind of musical talent at all. <laughs> but yeah, I am going to hit the road now and catch a ferry to another island uh, because I'm meeting up with some other friends. Remember the words to the song, except it's about. You know, you could take me on a date first. Yeah, the, the state park harmonics on here. You can do harmonic like on a guitar. Yeah. That's fucking wild. So cool, hey. This is dinner. That's good dinner. <laughs> She's being outside. Yeah. Made a bit of a feast. Woohoo! Good morning, everybody. I just got up. <sighs> Last night I had <laughs> the sailors <laughs> over for dinner, and that was really lovely. It was absolutely stormy. 40 knot winds, 60, 60 knot gusts, like. It was rough. There were breakers outside of the harbor and it was pissing with rain. And so we decided to stay on land. Um, it calmed down in the evening so they could get back out to their homes, which is really lovely. I was so relieved for them. Today it is not raining, which is lovely. 
and we are going to go in the ocean, hopefully to do some diving and some catch and cook bits and pieces, we'll figure that out. I've got to make sure my fishing license is up to date, um, check the closures and get my gear organized, including my camera gear. I am checking, trying out an Insta360, hopefully underwater for the first time, and I gotta make sure I have enough memory cards, um, it shoots in a higher resolution, so it's gonna fill up my memory cards way faster, so I think I have to clear a couple so that there's enough memory space. Hopefully I have enough. Get my dive housings all ready for both the GoPro and the Insta360 and my wetsuit gear, some warm towels and clothes for afterwards. Yeah, some packing to do. are you? Uh, my name's Nathan. Uh, I'm a tattoo artist, a boat builder, and a sailor. Um, what boat do you live on and what's, tell me about the boat. I don't know if you can see her, but I, I live on Dagon. Uh, she's a seagoer, what would be a seagoer y'all, uh, but was converted into a pilot cutter, well, a cutter. Um, uh, she was built in the 70s and owned by my friend Barry, and I recently acquired her last year and started living on her with my big dog, Appa. Um, yeah, a few months ago. <laughs> Lovely. And what are we gonna do today? We are gonna go fishing for urchins. We're gonna go catch some urchins. I'm super stoked. Live off the land. Just friggin', I've been wanting to like get some more access to food here. Yeah. This is Honey, the sweetest dog. Oh yeah. You want pets? Oh yeah, you're gonna have a snap. You're just all breath. All breath. Are you gonna have snuffles if you don't get pets? You're so cute. Are you we pets? are just about to go down to the bay, just around the corner from here. And we are specifically looking for crabs, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers, which I am quite excited about. And I will be showing Nathan a few things. Some knives, wetsuits, dive gear, weight belts, masks, set up for free diving. Ready to go. Ready to go. So and then we'll probably stop by the supermarket afterwards because I want to get some cheese and make a sea urchin cheese pasta sauce. Or whatever we end up putting it with. It might be rice or it might be vegetables. I don't know, but it's gonna be really tasty. Look at this amazing weather. Yesterday it was stormy. Oh, it's so shitty. We had high winds, choppy seas. Today it is absolutely gorgeous. It is just after slack tide. The tide's now rising. We're gonna go that way a bit. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. It's been a while since I've been out looking for seafood and I have been here before, so I know what's available and I'm gonna go for it.
amazing dive amazing in all senses this current is like what six knots right now six knots yeah it's fast the more positive abundant news we got lots of crab and lots of sea urchin yeah so between the two of us we have what four five urchin and five urchins and I think four crab. Yeah. Woohoo! So it's just take a little bit like this. Yep. And you can give it a little wet rinse if you wanted to. Perfect. There you go. Alrighty. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. Mmm. Kind of muscly. Oh. It's quite sweet, hey? Yeah, it has a really sweet... You're shaking. You're so like cold. Soft flavor. Yeah. I am kind of cold. But I feel like that's really nice because it's not, like, entirely salty. No. Like, all of the raw, raw seafood that I've gotten direct from the ocean has always been super salty. But that has, like, a really nice creaminess to it. Yeah. And that's why it does a great cheese sauce. Yeah. I'm excited to try that. So we have dinner. Between two of us and our fishing licenses, we have this much. Anarchist luck, yo, that's yeah, so it's a great. Club for engineless boats. Engineless? Yeah. Engine well, they sailed that boat for so far without anything. There's no engine. Yeah. There you go. If anyone wants a movie recommending recommendation, hold, hold fast. fast. Oh, this is gorgeous. Big one. I see her. Nice solar panels. Yeah. Very new ones. You put up a little arch or was that already there? Uh, the arch, the, um, the davits. Yeah. Those were put on when uh, Barry left the um, shipyard in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. uh, but he had a, a, like a, some panels lashed to some pieces of wood and it just didn't fucking <laughs> hold on to it at all. And I was just sketching out about it the whole time. Yeah. Mm. Rig, but whatever they were doing. Oh yeah, stupid. you have to dodge the rigging to get through. To get through the side nets, yeah. And 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 chain plates on the outside of the hull are better because they're more accessible. They're more. Mm -hmm. um, they're more stout. Um, side nets. Mm -hmm. I also can't walk the side deck, so I want to be able to just like walk up the bow and have that be a little. Yeah. But, as we approach, Do -do -do -do. thunder child. Do -do -do -do. Hunter child <laughs> on our starboard side. <sighs> They're nice new panels. Look at those sexy solar panels. <laughs> we 
poured oil everywhere. We got so many! Yeah, I saw that. You're gonna all have sticky fucking fingers. Buttery. I was like, we have to. It's kind of also like the oxygen blow, too. Like, you really want to get it high, you can put it right up close, or you can yeah. back it out, and it's like a fucking. Yeah. It's like a bellows. <laughs> Three days later. We just get to it when you start your death spot. Friday? Okay. All of the urchin? All of the urchin. Nice. It's literally onions, water. And the, the part of the urchin. Yeah. yeah, basically yeah, a row. Just the row. I'll show you. You can see a piece if you want to see what it looks like. I have a oh, piece. Oh no, I, I mean I've cracked open 20 or 30 of them and eaten them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's just that bit. Yeah. Yeah, I just wasn't certain what part of it that was for some reason. I just was like, I... Are you around tomorrow? No, I'm not. You're leaving tomorrow. Messy fuck and being stowed. Yeah. I ate it is one of the first warm days since the last warm up. It's been fucking cold for a little bit. None of the, there's none of the like crazy, oceany, salty. This is just like, it's like a really nice, creamy kind of umami flavor. This is nuts. It just says diminishing to light. Great, I love that. That's a forecast I like to hear. Perfect. You guys are gonna sail beautifully. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll sail. Looks really good. Well, there we I'm go. I'm stoked. This is amazing. Yeah, I'm blown away. Aww. I'm Ooh, like so. Some scrambled eggs with this would be so good. Yeah. Oh fuck, that's so good. Yay! That's yeah, that's an unreal flavor. I like to we think have so much of this kicking. Yes. Out too, like. And it's so easy to make, so simple. And then anyone who thinks they don't like sea urchin, it's just like. It kind of smells like having a helper for some reason. I don't know if that's just me having a. It was so lovely to pop over to the island and visit with Haley and Barry and Nathan and the dogs and go out in the ocean and share food. Sharing food is community and despite our different ways of living, we all live off grid and have a different relationship with our food, our water, our resources. And it was nice to bond over that. You can go check out Sailor Barry on YouTube. Um, and Haley Martin on Instagram. She's an amazing tattooist and I have several pieces by her now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will 
give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to hearing your comments and what you thought about our off-grid uh, lives and our different ways of foraging food. Thanks so much for watching. I'll check out your comments and I'll see you next week. Bye.